everybody, good evening and welcome to That's Football. I'm Mark Goldbridge and it's the return of the Champions League and what a double header we've got for you tonight as Arsenal entertain Bayern Munich and Real Madrid entertain Manchester City. We craved they'd be on different nights. You know, it's like having two desserts. You get the Bonoffi pie and you get the strawberry cheesecake and you're like, can I not just have one tomorrow? Can't we open one tomorrow? No, we're opening them both tonight and you've basically got to get stuck in on both. It's difficult. There's different tastes there's different uh, notes, there's different problems trying to get them both in your mouth at the same time. But we have to, because that's what the Champions League have decided. Um, looking forward to it, definitely looking forward to it. Both sets of players coming out onto the pitch at the moment. And um, look, I think that, uh, of course, Arsenal at home in the first leg. Um, so, you know, Bayern Munich may have an advantage there. Man City may have an advantage being there. Um, but yeah, I think that, um, yeah, how, how it plays out will be very interesting. Um, I'm hoping that, um, we get two really good games. Uh, I'm struggling tonight with a cold. I, 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 I'm going to, I'd like to say I'm going to need your help. Um, it's going to make no difference. I'm still going to be talking as much, but I, I'm basically talking out of my mouth instead of my ass. some might say, but I can't really breathe through my nose. So it's, it's a bit problematic, but we'll get there. We'll get there. Whoever decided to put these two banger games on the same night didn't think it through, says Nigel. Yeah, it, it is unfortunate, to be honest with you. We're going to be flicking. I've got two screens on the go, but um, I think we're going to be we're going to be flicking through quite a lot, um, catching up on things, of course. But uh, I'm I'm going to follow Madrid Real Madrid as the Real Madrid Man City as the featured game. But what I will say is uh, it can change dramatically very very quickly based upon um what's going on i've opted for a small screen and a big screen is what i'm talking about uh the big screen will be my featured game obviously we're keeping an eye on both so we're not going to miss anything but i'm going to feature real madrid man city as the scored game we might change that thoughts on the thoughts on the burn about marks is one it's absolutely incredible Absolutely incredible. Um, let's go through the team news. That's the most important thing. They're going up on the screen for you. Um, we will start... Well, we're, nearly, we're only two minutes away from the start of the bloody games here. But uh, very, very quickly, let me just do Arsenal Bayern. Arsenal, Araya, White, Saliba, Gabriel, Kivior, Odegaard, Jorginho, Rice, Saka, Havertz and Martinelli starts. Uh, for, for Bayern Munich, Neuer, Kimmich, Dyer, Delit, Davies, Koretska, Lehmer, Sane, Muziala, Nabri, and Harry Kane does start for them. So uh, good teams, but Bayern Munich are playing pretty shit this season. Uh, Real Madrid start off with Lunen, Carvajal, Rudiger, Chiumini and Mendy. Camavinga, Valverde, Cruz and Bellingham, Vinicius Jr. and Rodrigo as their team. Uh, obviously, Bellingham playing in that team as well. Um, Militao, Nacho, Modric on the bench. Uh, um, and then Man City have gone for Ortega, Akanji, Diaz, Stones, Vardiel, Rodri, Kovacic, Silva, Foden, Grealish and Haaland, meaning De Bruyne, Doku, Alvarez, all on the bench. Edison on the bench as well. So he's obviously not too far being back. Kyle Walker obviously injured, not playing. So, yeah, uh, the games come thick and fast for Arsenal and Manchester City. It's a massive night tonight. Please do subscribe. Bottom right-hand corner, get involved. We're very, very excited about this, of course, and uh, we're very much looking forward to it as well. Um, I would love to see Arsenal win and Real Madrid win for a multitude of reasons. Can I just say, we are only 200 subscribers away from 130,000. Let's surely hit that tonight. It would be a lovely number to reach. We're on 129,806. 129,806 million, by the way. But uh, please do subscribe, bottom right-hand corner. It would be lovely to hit that tonight. Um, on what has to be the biggest night of Champions League football so far this season, uh, especially if you're an, a, a Premier League fan, they're absolutely massive. Kane has scored 38 goals in 37 appearances. Well, look, I, I would love to be watching Real Madrid, Man City exclusively tonight and then watching Arsenal by Munich exclusively tomorrow night. But I'm not. And you don't always get what you want. Um, some would say that's a little bit like having one on one night and one on the other, but instead you get a threesome tonight. Some would say that's better. You've got to experience that to know. I personally would rather have one great date one night and one great date the other. That's not me being promiscuous. I'm just talking about football. 
but uh, you can wander off into euphemisms if you like. Madrid don't have a striker. They can't beat City, says Jonathan. Kane is a uh, uh, tough conversation about Kevin De Bruyne missing an important Champions League game, says Gary. Yeah, but he do this is what Pep does. This is what Pep does. Pep does this all the time. He's basically being Pep the mastermind, Pep the clever guy, Pep that uh, De Bruyne can't play two games in a week when I think he probably can. Um, I think it's Pep Guardiola thinking he can beat Real Madrid without Kevin De Bruyne. That's what I'm thinking. Um, score predictions. Get in the chat. I fancy, I do fancy City to get a score draw in the Bernabeu. They're up and running. And I do fancy Arsenal to get um, a win by two goals uh, in the uh, in this one. Real Madrid on the attack, early doors here. Cross comes in, and they'll get rid of that. Interesting, he started Grealish. I think that's a real boost for Jack Grealish to start this game. And he's got the ball at the moment. Needs to take a dive. There we go. He's got a yellow card as well. Jack Grealish, he really... I mean, I actually think he gets fouled here, but I actually was like, chuamini has been booked already, but I actually think, like, you know, he is Mr. Diver. Now, no, that's, that's a yellow card. I mean, I, I don't know what they're talking about there. I don't know what Chuamini's doing there. He's miles off. That's not a dive. That is a yellow card. I mean, we know, we know Grealish likes a tumble, but I can't argue with that. Mark, mate, can you stop pretending to be me? Says Mark Goldbridge. Thanks, mate. Loving the channel, mate. Can't wait for the match, says the Morris Brothers. We don't have to make any more because we're up and running here. Um, Koku says, Bayern are going to own Arsenal as usual. And David says, City are already hounding the referee. Well, they learnt that in La Liga anyway because it comes from Pep. I suppose the interesting thing is, can Erling Haaland have a big game tonight? I mean, I think the interesting... Will was talking about this on the podcast as well. Arsenal in Europe aren't necessarily... Oh, my God, it's a goal. Bernardo Silva has just scored directly from the free kick. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That you, You've got to say... you got to say that is incredible from Bernardo Silva. This is the guy I really wish he'd pissed off in the summer. You know when he wanted to go to PSG or, or Barcelona? I really wish he'd fucked off because he's a bit like Gundogan last year. He's such a good player. Keeper's a twat here. Keeper's an absolute twat. How he's got beat from there is disgraceful. And... You've got to give Bernardo Silva credit, but all he's done is shoot from a stupid angle round the wall in the hope that the keeper's gone expecting a cross and the keeper's gone expecting a cross and it's 1-0 to Man City. Within two minutes. And Real Madrid have already got a mountain to climb here. But they have got a mountain called Jude Bellingham who really does like to take on a challenge. Get your comments in. Um, my live chat's flow frozen here. Sorry, I'll keep it update to you, but um, I don't know what's gone wrong there. That's back again. Well, everyone moaning about... I don't know what you're about, Xavi Alonso. Um, I think I think we all said this about Real Madrid. You, you, we, we, I don't watch the Liga. And I think until you hit these latter stages when you get Spain against the Premier League, we've seen Real Madrid win the, win the Champ Champions League a couple of years ago and everybody wrote them off. So nobody will write Real Madrid off anymore. But... The Premier League is a lot stronger than La Liga, as we know. And um, But you just you wait for these games to see if Real Madrid are just a special entity. Mark Goldbridge says, ridiculous, the keeper's not, not played the game. You really are. 
nicking my lines, aren't you? Um, Bellingham, edge of the box. Of course, Real Madrid are waiting. You know, you, you drop Kylian Mbappe into this team and it's a different story, isn't it? That will be coming next year. Um, Chumini's now suspended, says Lewis. Well, they have got Militao, who I, I think is a decent player. Good play by Bellingham. Oh, my God. This referee is clearly on the take. That's two fouls on Bellingham. to Haaland. Well done. <clears throat> I hate to say it, but this City's away kit is awesome, says Armand. Nice ball into Haaland. Bloody hell, got the shot off. What a... Real Madrid's defence is shit. Could be 2-0 here. Right, I tell you what. The Premier League might be a lot stronger than we thought. Oh, referee, shit. How's that not a foul? He's definitely on the take for Man City. This ref's a bloody joke. What is he on? It's mad. Absolutely mad. That's like three fouls he's not given to Real Madrid. I'd love to see that one again as well because Vinicius Junior would have been in. Uh, nil nil Bayern and Arsenal, a, a, a much more tepid affair there at the moment. By tepid, I mean tame. Although Arsenal are on the attack here. Ooh, was not. Uh, actually, that's a replay. Martinelli wasn't far off there. Uh, I've got. I'll, I'll read that in a minute. Don't worry. Talking to myself. Uh, City back-to-back -back trebles. Why no media coverage? Build a narrative. Put pressure on them. Like when Liverpool were on for a quadruple. Says Christopher. I, I don't think. I don't think people can even be asked to put pressure on Man City. They just don't respect it. There's no integrity. So they won a treble last year with 115 charges against them. I just don't think there's any credibility to what they do anymore. Four minutes in and Mark saying the Premier League is way stronger. It will be fun when Madrid smash City. Surely you will enjoy being proven wrong, says Ron. I've seen no hint of Real Madrid smashing Man City, mate. Um, uh, you know, I'd like to be wrong on that, but... Um, hate the fact I'm supporting City in case United get fifth, says Cal. Mate, you're an idiot. Don't support City. We're not getting fifth. Referee City, says Sheep Lane. And uh, Philip Sutton's gifted a membership. You're an absolute legend. Uh, shall we just resign ourselves to another City treble, says Robbo. I uh, hate to see... Uh, oh, Armand loves the City away kit. Thank you very much. You see, you've been saying 115 for months now. Nothing has changed, says Rock. Yeah, we, I think we'll keep saying it as well. Get a few 115s in the chat. It clearly winds up certain Man City fans. If you feel like doing it, I'd just type 115. Um, uh, it's coming. A resolution's coming. It's not going to get forgotten, pal. You've been charged. You'll either get found guilty or not guilty. Something will happen. Matten, do you believe... Do you genuinely believe City are guilty? It doesn't matter what I believe. I think they've done something wrong, but I don't find them guilty. Why do you want Arsenal to win, Mark? Um, 
Calamity Jones. Um, I don't actually good point. I don't know why I want Arsenal to win. I think they will win. I think they're better than Bayern Munich. I don't know whether... I, you know what? If Arsenal got knocked out, I wouldn't be bothered. Um, I'm quite indifferent in that game. I don't, I don't massively like Tuchel, to be honest. I prefer Arteta, so maybe that's a reason. I'd like to see Declan Rice win the Champions League. I think that'd be nice. Um... Hi, Mark. Uh, have you seen the uh, comic in The Guardian today that features you? Uh, it says Living Regret. I got sent it. Uh, he's been bitter for years, hasn't he? You know, probably bitter because uh, we're doing well and cartoons are going out like the dinosaurs. AI can generate that. Um, hi, Mark. Thank you very much. Um, thanks to Philip Sutton. Arsenal very much looking the better team in that game as well, by the way. Remember Man City leading 1-0 here. An early opportunist free kick from Silva made the goalkeeper look really stupid. But uh, Martinelli's had a very good start for Arsenal. Perfect game for Man City now, though. They've got the goal. They're away from home. They know they'll dominate at the Etihad. They can now sit deep and... Uh, well, they won't sit deep, but... They can now let Real Madrid have the ball and just counter more. Thanks, Man United for life. Um, thanks, Living Regret as well. Thanks for your super chat. Lovely switch of the play there. Rodrigo. Cuts inside. Kamavinga! 1-1 Real Madrid! 1-1 Real Madrid! I, I, I hope that doesn't come across too much that I don't like City. But it's 1-1 Madrid. Hala Madrid. Kamavinga with the shot. Deflects it in. Two very similar goals, actually. In the, well, Bernardo Silva's was more intentful, but it was a mistake. Whereas Kamavinga here has got... Look at the eyebrow from Ancelotti. One's high, one's low. And it's 1-1. Get in Madrid. I, I, I like that goal just for the contest. Um, you know, you want, you want a bit of a contest. And I think Man City 1-0 up in any game is very, very dull. But uh, deflects in. Um, nothing the keeper can do about that, to be fair. It's not a great shot by Kamavinga and it's going to get saved. But the deflection makes it 1-1. Arsenal are 1-0 up as well. Saka. Saka for Arsenal. Surely that's going to be the beginning of the... That's a lovely goal by Saka as well. Absolutely brilliant finish into the bottom corner on that left foot. Neuer's nowhere near it. So I had three goals in the first 15 minutes of these tremendous games. Saka on the big stage makes it 1-0. Uh, it's gone down as a Diaz own goal for Man for Real Madrid. It matters not because Rodrigo's in. He's not going to get caught. He did get caught. It's 2-1 to Madrid. It's all going off here. Get your tops off. Get your tops off. Real Madrid are 2-1 up inside 15 minutes. Excitement. Unbelievable. Man City have gone to sleep twice here. Keep the pedal down. Keep the pedal down. Pep's furious. He's having an argument with somebody. I think he's playing rock, paper, scissors. But this is incredible. Rodrigo, one-on-one, -on -one, slips it through the keeper's legs. And Man City's defence goes to sleep. It's just a counter. Yeah, well on side. It's bad defending. I think it's a kanji. 
And again, a bit of a deflection off of Kanji's foot that sends it through Ortega's legs. Watch this. He shoots. Oh, well, M Madrid have had a bit of luck there. But it's 2-1. What a game. What a game we've got going on here, everybody. Didn't go through his legs. Went round his leg. Goes off of Kanji's ankle, I think. Yeah. And Ortega can't react. And it rolls over the line for a despairing Diaz to chase. What a game we've got here. Man City coming forward now. There's gonna, there, could be, there could be loads of goals in this game. I think there will be more. I think there will be more. Mark, I personally know the lad who started the Delilah chant at Stoke about 30 years ago, just saying, isn't football great, says Anglo-Saxon. Thank you very much. Please refer it to it as the empty had, not the empty had, says Harvey. Which striker would you sign as a backup for Hoyland, says Aman. I don't know, mate. Coney says the ref will be fuming now. Although he's just not giving a foul on Grealish, so maybe he wants to let the game flow here. Pure drama, says Yogo. Three goals in 15 minutes. Of course, Arsenal are beating Bayern Munich 1-0 as well. Let's not forget that. Ben White had a chance there as well. I, th I think I, I think Arsenal could, could kill that game off in the first leg. And I think that's what they'll try and do. 15 minutes, what a start. Man City will be a bit shell-shocked here. The perfect start and then the nightmare response. I do think Man City's defence is vulnerable, though. I felt that this season. It's not as strong as it used to be. And, of course, without Kyle Walker at right back, they don't have that. That situation doesn't happen with Kyle Walker. He'd be a lot quicker. I can't speak, said let him speak, Simon. And I told you, brother, Madrid are going to smash City. I've seen both teams a lot this year. And Madrid's attack is way too strong. Triple dream shattered, says Ron. I think you'd sound... Ron, you sound like you're talking bollocks, but I hope you're not. Don't worry, I'm not yawning because I'm bored. I'm yawning because I haven't had much sleep the last couple of nights. Struggling to breathe at night. We've got an equaliser for Bayern Munich, by the way. Unbelievable. Arsenal have been all over, literally all over Bayern Munich. And what goes and happens, Bayern Munich counter... And they've gone and bloody scored. A bit of a mistake at the back. We're just watching the replay here. Yeah, Arsenal get themselves into trouble on a high line. And it's 1-1. I think it's Nabry. Yeah, it's Nabry. Arsenal, terrible defending there. They've dominated this game. Former Arsenal player, Nabry, of course. Real Madrid on the attack. Valverde gets the shot off straight at the keeper. Goals galore. We've had five goals in under the first 20 minutes in these two ties, by the way. Um, look, uh, Arsenal just need to keep going. They've been playing really, really well. And um, they've just gone and got caught on the break. Little bit of indecision at the back. Edison or Alisson, who's the best, says Tommy. Let's do a poll. Let's get a bit of an either or going. It's going to be one of those nights. Yeah, all sorts going on. Now it's Arsenal again. Saka had the shot there, blocked. 
Uh, Lee Berman says, I love the Champions League nights, especially with the watch-along. Yeah, well, we always do a double watch-along on quarter-final nights. Traditionally, we've always done it. I just wish these two games had been separated. But um, I think one thing's for sure. Real Madrid, Man City next week will still have life in it. I actually think Arsenal could put this game to bed if they go for it. But that goal will hurt them a little bit and it will galvanise Bayern Munich. I'd personally love Southgate at United, Mark, says Mark Goldbridge. Well, you're definitely a fraud if you think that. Um, Alisson's got 81% of the vote. Well, I've got to say I agree with you on all that. Uh, Goldio says Pep actually ruins football. Arrogant personality. Too much winning. Money FC. Couldn't do what Jose or Sir Alex Ferguson did. Can't wait for him to retire. Halle Madrid. <coughs> I think Pep's just a very clever guy. He just goes where the money is. He's a very good coach, but he, he makes sure he goes to situations where... can't fail well this is a great game now in Madrid because Man City won't want to take a one goal loss to the, to Manchester they'll want to score how many do you think Real Madrid would need to win by to be comfortable in the Etihad <laughs> To be honest, the way these games have gone in the past, I remember PSG Bayern. Even if Real Madrid took a four-goal lead, I wouldn't say it was over. I just think you can get funny nights. Mark, Leeds and Southampton tonight is worth a watch as well, says CMA. No, can't be watching that, mate. I think it's very advantageous if you're away from home, if, if you're at home in the second leg as well. I'm sure we will see De Bruyne at some point. They've got quite a winnable game. Yeah, I don't think he... I don't think... I mean, Arsenal have got Villa at home, which is going to be difficult on Saturday night. But um, I think it's going to... Be, I, think, uh, I think Man City have got... Uh, um, Luton, so... Villa are playing on Thursday night, says Charlie. How, how, is, how is that fair on Villa? That can't be... No, I'm not having that. I'm not having that. That can't be right. Yeah, Villa are playing at 8 o'clock on Thursday night. Oh, no, no, no. They play on, the Villa, Villa, Arsenal, Villa, Aston Villa are playing on Sunday against Arsenal, not Saturday night. I don't know why I thought that. I don't know. I was going to say that would be impossible. You can't play. You can't play twice in forty-eight hours. If United get Southgate, I would advise Hoyland, Mainu and Ganacho find the new club in the next few transfer windows, says Lazarus. Arsenal still have more rest than Billy, yes. And it's at Arsenal. I think Arsenal will beat Villa on Sunday, but... Well, we've not had a goal for five minutes in either game here. I'm going to end the Alisson Edison poll. It's uh, it's been a landslide for Alisson with 77%. If you've got any other either ors, let us know. Uh, hi, Mark. What's your opinion on Carvajal? I think he's class as show. Well, he's, he's he's been around for a very long time, hasn't he? And he's and he has done a very good job. There's no doubt about it. Good right back. It's always very difficult to judge somebody on European form, but for La Liga, in uh, Real Madrid standards, he's been a good right back for them, hasn't he? Here's uh, Kovacic. Good tackle. Kamavinga. Here is Carvajal. Bit of a crap past that. Um... 
Thanks for the super chats, by the way. <laughs> Can you wish my friend Helmer a happy birthday, says Joel. Happy birthday. Villa have got Lille on Thursday night. Yeah, well, Villa will be taking that Europa League. Uh, sorry, that's the Conference League, isn't it? They'll be taking that very, very seriously. Yeah, to be fair, that Real Madrid goal really does exploit the fact that Kyle Walker's not paying, playing. I'm not saying Akanji's slow, but Kyle Walker's quicker. Um, is this watch along for Bristol Rovers versus Reading too, says Ben. It's 1-0 Reading at the moment. Would mean Reading stay up against all the odds. And uh, it's not, no, but you can, you're can you more than capable of keeping us uh, updated. Uh, Solihull Moors are playing tonight as well, so I will keep you updated on score lines. Do you think with Spurs having such hard games, United could somehow catch them? Our run isn't too bad. I have small hopes, says Nick. I have no hope. Um, how about Republic of Ireland versus England women, says Emily Ben. Yeah, yeah, we'll get that on as well. It's Champions League exclusively watch-alongs tonight. Rodri or Casemiro, says Ryan. Well, it's Rodri at the moment. Uh, shot over the bar there from uh, Venetius. A long way out and a long way over. Do you think Bayern could get through, Mark? I mean, they're so bad this season. I mean, Leverkusen have basically won the league in April. Um, they're inexplicably bad. I don't see how a Premier League team doesn't beat them like Arsenal. Ahmad says, where's the TikTok live? Not tonight, mate. I forgot. Kure, thank you very much. Welcome to the Members Club. And George, thank you very much. He says, Valverde or Camavinga for United? I'd take Camavinga, George, but uh, Valverde is very, very good. Um, let's run a poll. I quite like that poll. Imagine you were buying them for your club. Which one would you go for, Camavinga or Valverde? Oh, 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 Arsenal bouncing around. Neuer gets hold of it. Corey, welcome to the Members' Club. Thank you very much. Well, Real Madrid have relaxed into this game now, haven't they? Man City really haven't got back into it. Funny how a game can change on goals, isn't it? Start bench sell. K, Coogan, Gervais. Sell K. So close between Gervais and Coogan, really, for me. I need to think about it. Is this some of the most talented group of managers we've had in the Premier League era? So many new managers implementing their philosophy so quick, says just Swift. I think it's a golden era. I mean, Sir Alex is better than all of them, but did he really have competition other than Mourinho? Um, I think there is a golden era of coaches, but it's about to change with the departure of Klopp. Hopefully we can evolve into a new era. You know, you've got people like Ange, Emery, hopefully Amarim. Will come in. I think he's a good coach. Um, you know, I still have hope for Ten Hag at Man United, although that might be stupid. Hi, Mark. What's your opinion on Vinny Jr.? Is he up there with the likes of Mbappe? Says Cyrus. Look, I've always been a big fan of his. Certainly over the last twelve months, I've put him exclusively in the top three in the world. So I, I, I think he's up there. Yeah, definitely. But um... Camavinga can play left back. Says Les. Assuming the fitness department improves next season, what do you think of rotation between right back and left back for Wambasaka and Delo on a game to game basis, is Connor? No, I think as I said on the United Stand earlier, we can't just keep all these players. We've got to start selling some of them to raise money. Wambasaka needs to be sold. You can't evolve if you just keep the same players. Like we've we need to evolve that team. Was Roy right? Eric Ten Hag looks out of sorts in these games, says Ahmed. You do realise Ten Hag is not Oh, Erling Haaland. Sorry, I read A E. Yeah, OK. Um, Roy Keane's not right about Erling Haaland. The problem with Erling Haaland is that um, he needs service. Oh, no, 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 no. We've got a penalty for Bayern. What are Arsenal doing here? 
I can't speak. I can't bloody speak. Looks soft. Looks soft to me. From that angle, it looks soft. Penalty to Bayern. I haven't, I haven't seen it enough. Let's have a look. Referee's giving it straight away. No messing about. Saliba did appeal it a little bit. European referees, of course. No, he, get, he does get, he gets it. Yeah, I've seen it on the slow-mo. The funny thing is, Gabriel thinks about... I don't, I don't know why he does it. Gabriel pulls out. Saliba doesn't. Uh, Baggy's pre-ordered a signed copy of your book today. Can't wait. Thanks, everybody. Remember, you, thanks for uh, Harry Kane scores. Kane scores against Arsenal. He's loving it. He's loving that. You can pre-order yours by scanning the QR code, by the way, with your camera phone. Um, he's loving that moment, Harry Kane. And why wouldn't he? Well, the amazing thing is here, obviously I'm, I'm keeping an eye on two games, which is not as easy as it, sh as it is if you've got one game, but... The amazing thing here is, is that Arsenal have really, in my opinion, dominated um, Bayern Munich and have just been caught out. Bayern Munich are always going to have um, good players, good attackers. And Arsenal have just um, had, you know, they've had seven shots to one, 58% possession. A little bit, little bit of European naivety. I don't know. I don't know. It's going to be 10-2 for Bayern, just like during the Wenger years, says Perk. Uh, Ronnie Pickering or Wheelstone Raider, says uh, Jackin. Um, Ronnie Pickering, definitely. Big fan, Mark. Love what you're doing. Keep it up, says Tanner. What, what do you think about the future between Haaland and the Mbappe, his rivalry? Very different players. Grealish just had a shot blocked. Uh, very different players. Uh, Ryan. Here's Rodri down the right-hand side. Rodrigo, sorry. Into Vinny. Up against Diaz. Lays it off back of the box. Oh, I thought he'd scored. I thought that was in. You know when you watch the keeper and he moves? I, I really thought Rodrigo had scored here. Vinicius Jr. I don't want to see Grealish's shot. Lays it off. How close is this? Not close at all. Wasn't even close. It was fucking miles away. What's your pin on Havertz? Says James. I think I think he plays better as a false nine. I think when he's in the midfield, that's when he struggled. What do you think of Kane Sketch's boots? Says Pablo, and that's Champions League experience. Two Cal one in Chelsea before. Says Man United. Eight 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 eight. I think if Bayern went through. They'd lose to Real Madrid or Man City anyway. A lot of people feel that this is the final, Real Madrid, Man City. They're idiots because it's the quarterfinal, but I know what they mean. The winner of this will win the tournament. Um, yeah, go back to Erling Haaland. He never plays well. Bellingham's injured yet. He never plays well when he doesn't get service because that's all he is. Uh, Mitchell says this is Arsenal. They don't have the mentality. Bellingham's down injured. And uh, Diaz goes down for the foul. And Bellingham. Well, to be fair, Diaz does get a bit of the ball. Just about. Yeah, he gets a bit of the ball. <clears throat> I 
So I had a message from Will on the podcast, my co-host. He says, I told you about buying. Hi, Mark. Hope you're well. Hope Madrid wins. Hate Man City. Also, I've pre-ordered your new book today and Sally Hall Moores are winning at the moment, says Becky. Thank you very much, Becky. You're a legend for ordering the book and uh, you're a legend for letting me know that Solihull Moors are winning as well. Two fascinating games here. I I'm really enjoying it. I hope you're enjoying it as well. My only frustration is that we can't watch one tonight and one tomorrow night. But uh, there was a chance for Bayern Munich. Sane got into a decent position again, but uh, very, very good defending from, from uh, I think it was Ben White to get back. There's plenty more left in these games tonight, let alone the second leg course Arsenal have got a bit of well I'm sort of delving from one game to another but as we stand both English teams are losing um I think Arsenal have got a more of a mountain to climb because they're losing at home in the first leg Sane's overrated says Tristan I've always been a big fan of uh, of Sane I liked him at Man City but uh did he get the most out of his talent I think he could have been a higher level still think he's a good player though But uh, Bayern are being quite clever here. You know, Harry Kane's a very good creator and he's got two wide men in Sane and Nabry who are very quick. So the counter works really well for them at the moment. <clears throat> yeah, Kane scored the penalty. I think Nabry and Sane are very similar. Wingers, German. But no, my, my reality is they're very similar in the, similar in the sense that they uh, probably could have gone to a higher level. I'd say they're, they're top class, but I think they could have been world class. But there's a lot of players like that. A lot of players like that. <coughs> they have a card here. Um, I think Akanji's been booked. Haaland's getting bullied by Rudiger's a show. Rudiger's a shit house, isn't he? I'd, I'd have took him at Man United, definitely. Remember the days of Robin and Ribery, says Jard. Yeah, I mean, look, Bayern Munich have, for a few years now, had this tradition of really good wingers, haven't they? Interesting watching Jude Bellingham play in this attacking midfield role. I always saw him as a number eight and he can definitely play there, but he's definitely the figurehead of that midfield four. Arsenal, how are they going to get back into it, Arsenal fans? Make sure you subscribe, by the way. We've got nearly 25,000 watching, which is incredible. Uh, please do subscribe, bottom right-hand corner. We're only 10 away from 130,000. Absolute legends get involved with That's Football. You're all welcome. Um, some big watch-alongs to come in the Premier League title race, the Champions League over the next few weeks. And of course, not that long until we start thinking about the Euros. But uh, Cross comes in from Foden. Oh, for a minute there, I thought he'd caught the keeper out. Um, just on the poll, Valverde 53%, Camavinga on 47%. Nah, I mean, Rod Akanji's hand catches Rodrigo in the face. It's not, not a foul for me. Arsenal losing 2-1. Luke said, could you do a classic either or? I don't mind. We've got plenty of time. So... This is a classic one. Robin or Ribery.
Five minutes to go to half time. Arsenal will be frustrated. Started off well. 1 0. Good goal by Saka. Bayern have caught them out with two sucker punches, one being a penalty, one being a break. It is all Arsenal. Robbery. <laughs> ah, yeah, I I've played the game. I've played the game. Arsenal defence has been strangely off, considering how much uh, praise they've had and how good they've been this season. But uh, two cracking watch-alongs. I still see a way back for Arsenal, but um, it's the challenge they might have in Germany next week, isn't it? Thanks to everyone who's tuning in, by the way. Both English teams losing 2-1 at the moment. And to be fair, I mean, we'll, we'll talk about it half time, but Man City haven't really done much. Real Madrid have looked far more likely to get the next goal. Oh, Vinicius Junior straight at the keeper there. But yeah, I feel like Real Madrid, I know they're the home team, but, 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 but Man City is struggling at the moment. Obviously, there's a long way to go. Where's the neither option to the poll? Well, Robin wins with 72% compared to Ribery. So there we go. We'll end that one. If you've got any other ideas, let me know. I'm not doing classic ones all night. Euro starting three, Rice, Bellingham and Palmer, says Christopher. But that makes Bellingham have to play a little bit deeper, doesn't it? Vinicius Jr. or Foden, I just saw that. You need to piss off with that stupidity. Foden's a good player, but surely everyone would pick Vinicius over him. Three minutes to go to half time. Both games, are, I mean, this half has flown by, to be fair. Prem's overrated. Hmm. Get a lot of cold, says Marcy. I haven't had a cold all year. I don't get a bloody. I don't get a lot of cold. You cheeky get. I've had a cold in. I can't remember the last cold I had. I've certainly not had one in 2024, which I was very surprised how I got it. I think it came from an allergy, by the way, because Saturday after Sunday afternoon, my eyes started watering, uh, my nose started watering, and my throat was just like really itchy. So I think it's actually. Um, it's becoming a cold because of an allergy. I don't know what the allergy would be. Scousers, we played Liverpool on Sunday, maybe with that. Bellingham or Foden? I'll do that one, Keelan. I'll do that one. That's that's more real. That's more like it. Play in similar positions as well. I think certainly for England, the number 10 position is up for grabs there. I was giving it to Man City. Um, Yamal or Cole Plama says Pepe. Bit late, but we might do it in a minute. Win over... Vinny over Mbappe even, I'll fight for that, says Umid. Well, I, I've got to be honest, there is a part of me that's probably going to get absolutely slaughtered here. But there is a part of me that still thinks Mbappe has got a lot to prove. Because 
100% of his club career has been done in the French League. And there's no doubt he's a world-class player. We've seen that in the, um, the World Cup final. It was amazing what he did. But I think he needs to come and do it in a more competitive league. I think he'll do it, but he's got to come and play more competitive football. Um, you can't just stay in the French League all your career and then say you're the best player in the world. Harland fouling there on the back post. Would you like to see him in the Premier League, Mark? Um, yeah. I don't think we will. I think Real Madrid and Barcelona, to a lesser extent, still have that big pull, don't they? Luke Webb, thanks for your super chat. Bellingham's battered Foden here. 82%. Bloody hell. I don't think it's that big. But, well, it is for you lot. Maguire or Dyer as a sheep. I mean, come on. There's better ones we can do than that. Oh, here's Vinny. He's got space down the right. In three minutes in added time here. They're o it's over in Bayern. It's not, it's not in Bayern. It's in Arsenal. It's in London. We're in London, aren't we? But it's half time. Arsenal and Bayern. Bayern leading 2-1. But we've still got a couple of minutes to go here in Madrid. And Man City have been very lacklustre. I mean, thinking about the goal, I mean, it was just, it was a, it was a moment of opportunism. Southgate or Potter for his United fans, says Mario. I mean, I will do that. Bellingham's beaten Foden. It's not just for United fans. I'm interested to, th to know what people think, who, who the better manager is. I mean, there, there really needs to be a neither, but uh, you can get a built-in on that. Uh, sorry, but Foden has got more accolades than Bellingham. So? So? Nobby Styles has got more World Cups than George Best. Doesn't mean he's a better player. It's not about how many trophies you've won, mate. Luke Chadwick's got more Premier League titles than Steven Gerrard. We, we don't judge players on what, we, what, what they've won. It's not the Ballon d'Or. Lovely play by Real Madrid here. Now it's Rodrigo up against Diaz. Needs some help. And that Man City defended well there. About to hit half time. But as I said, Real Madrid just looked more likely to score. He blows for half time. Um, Bellingham is four years younger than Foden as well, says Daniels. Ref's, ref's been a bit shit. Ref's been a bit shit, I've got to say. Um, let me just get up the stats. They're there. They're there. I want to see them back. I want to see them back. Um, well, look, actually, we've got two games where we can look at the stats. Arsenal's game finished earlier, so let's... Uh, half time earlier. Let's have a look. Arsenal, 61% possession. Um, nine shots to two, three shots on target to two. So Arsenal are in the ascendancy and yet they're losing 2-1 at half time. A penalty from Harry Kane putting them in front and Nabry on the break to level it up after Saka's goal. So Arsenal controlling, but Bayern Munich leading. Can they get back in the second half? They've got to. But you know what? Even in Germany, I still, I'd still give Arsenal a chance. But uh, they'd want to be taking a lead. They're going to have to turn things around very, very quickly there. And uh, Bayern Munich uh, leading there. But look at this. Possession-wise, Man City, 63%. Not a lot in it, chances-wise. Although I do think Real Madrid have looked far more dangerous. And that is shown with five shots on target to two. Um, no corners for either team, which is interesting at half-time. Man City, obviously, very, very good in possession. 93% pass accuracy. But Real Madrid looking the more dangerous team at the moment. And uh, interesting because Man City did actually start ahead. 
with that early goal from Bernardo Silva. But uh, Real Madrid have come back very, very well. I think if Real Madrid can take a two-goal lead to the Etihad, um, they've got a chance. They have got a chance. Uh, PSN says start bench sell Serie A, Enzaghi, Del Piero or Totti. What, in relation to their playing career? Sell Inzaghi, uh, bench Totti and start Del Piero. That's pretty easy. Would you like to see Van der Ven at Man United? Says Goal Rush. I think he's a brilliant player. I think he's been a brilliant signing for Spurs. Yes, very much so. Could we do Colbert Palmer versus Saka in a poll? Says Shadow. Uh, well, Graham Potter has beaten Gareth Southgate by 80% to 20%, by the way. Um, look, you've asked very nicely. P you've, you've asked very nicely, PWR. I will, I will set that up for you now. Um, I know what I think, but it's not what I think. It's about what you think. Get in the chat. I've played the game. Uh, Mukbang with fish fingers says Mark Goldbridge, who isn't me. I do like fish fingers. If English teams don't pass their round, are you all really that good? All hype, reality check. What happens to the fifth spot, says Angel. Mate, you're going to be eating your arrogance very, very soon. There is no way that Arsenal and Man City are both going to go out. It won't happen. I think the chances of them, of them both going out is less than 20%. I think the chances of one of them going through is 80%. I think the chance of two of them going through, I would still say, is 60%. So we're only a quarter of the way through these ties. Um, they're not going to keep going the way of Bayern Munich and Man City. I'd still say Arsenal and Man City are our favourites to go through. UFC 300 watch along marks is Edith. And uh, Rafael Liao or Rodrigo, says Jay. I will do that one in a moment. Ref has let the game play out and I miss refs like this, says Sam. You know what? In fairness to the referee, I thought he was very pro Man City at the start, but he has not given some fouls to Man City as well. And I'm with you. I think he's actually just trying to let the game go. Um, Why do you rate Bruno similar to Rashford when he tries so much harder and his attitude is far better, says Jaff? Because it's not about trying. You've got to be more than that. Trying should come as standard. You know, it's like leather interior. It should come as standard. I actually don't like leather interior, if I'm being honest. Cold when it's cold, sticky when it's hot. I'd rather have um, cloth interior. Yeah. Uh, half time scores in, in other leagues. Southampton are beating Coventry 2 0. Um, Leicester are drawing 0 0 with Millwall. But of course, the most important game that everybody wants to know the update from is uh, how's Goldbridge's uh, local team doing in the National League? Solihull Moors are currently winning, I think. Are we winning? I'm sure we're playing. I thought we were playing tonight. I can't bloody see. Definitely at home. I thought I thought we were playing tonight. I must be blind. Oh, yeah, we are. I'm looking at the wrong place. We're 1-0 up against Ebbsfleet. And uh, we're into the second half there as well. Saka is going to beat Palmer. He's got 70% to 30%. So we'll end that one. What was that other one? Oh, yeah, yeah. I quite like the look of this one. It is European night. So I quite like the fact that we're getting some European either-ors in. And next one is going to be Liao or Rodrigo. Now, for, don't forget, tomorrow night's Champions League does exist. A lot of people are dismissing it, saying, meh, it's meh. You've got PSG against Barcelona, and you've got Atletico Madrid against Dortmund. Now, I'm going to do PSG Barcelona tomorrow night um, at 8 o'clock. Uh, we will keep an eye on Atletico Madrid Dortmund. If we're being completely honest, I don't think the winner of the Champions League is coming from those four, from that side. I think the winner is coming from the side we're watching tonight. But look, you know, let's not disrespect it. Uh, Lewis says, do Yamal or Endrick? Uh, I, I, I can, but I, I just think it's very predictive. You know, they're young players. Um, it's hard. Uh, see, Jackin, I don't miss Super Chats. Stop saying I have. I don't. Any opinions on the 6-0 Feyenoord win over Ajax, says Dark Husky. Um, yeah, Ajax is shit, basically. Um, 
that's the way it works. <coughs> oh, I hate having a bloody cold. Start bench sell kebab burger, burger or hot wings. I'd sell hot wings, bench kebab and start burger. Yeah, that's what I'd do. And I'm very happy about that. Um, Atletico Madrid or Dortmund will win. Atletico or Dortmund to win tomorrow. I think Atletico, Sam. I think Atletico might do quite well. Um, yeah, I, I wouldn't be surprised if Atletico got to the final on that side, actually. There's a, there's a, there's a good one. Who do you think is going to get to the final out of Atletico, Dortmund, PSG and Barcelona? I think Atletico will get to the final. So let's wait and see. DeMarco or Theo Hernandez? And um, look, can you just hold off on your either ors? We've got one actively going at the moment. I'm not, we're not, we're not, it's not the either or show. It's meant to be a backdrop to good conversation and it's turning into either or, either or, either or. Eric says Foden is bottling it in another game. Um, if they are playing away against Real Madrid, and um, I think it has been very unlike Man City, but Real Madrid are a decent team, obviously. I mean, I was very excited coming into this game because... La Liga is not as good as the Premier League. I mean, if anybody's having that debate in 2024, they're an absolute fool. But Real Madrid, as a standalone entity, would be more than capable of dropping in the Premier League and being in a title race. That they, 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 they are a good team. But you never know, year to year, how good Real Madrid are compared to the rest of the Premier League. I think last year, they weren't up that level, were they? They got beat. The year before, they won the Champions League. They were, be they were better than everybody else. So... La Liga's not nowhere near as good as the Premier League, but Real Madrid, as their standalone entity, are. And I think year to year, you look at Real Madrid, Real Madrid and you just go, how good are they? Are they better than everyone in the Premier League or are they not quite there? Last year, they weren't quite there. The year before, they were better. This year, I think if they knock Man City out, they'll be the team to beat. But I still think there's a long way to go with that because I do really think that in the Champions League, it's still a massive, massive, massive advantage to be away at home second. And, and that's what Man City have got. And I think they've got it in the semi-final as well. So the pathway to the final for Man City is 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 in their, you know, advantage. If Man United or Chelsea played like Arsenal or City, everyone would be laughing. Well, I think Arsenal are playing quite well. Lamb, if you watch it. Um, who do you think is going to win the Ballon d'Or this week? Yeah, I like this question. Um, it can't be Messi for once and it can't be Ronaldo and it won't be Lewandowski um, Haaland deserved it last year does he deserve it this year knowing the Ballon d'Or they'll give it to Haaland because um, he doesn't deserve it this year so he'd probably give it to Haaland Um it can't be messy. I don't know. I, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, I, I loved, I'm, and, and I'm very sad that the Bellingham and Me sorry, not the Bellingham era. I've given you a hint there. I'm very, very sad that the Messi and Ronaldo era is coming to an end. Um, and I always said we needed to appreciate it, um, but it is coming to an end now in relation to the dominance of the Ballon d'Or for sure. And the exciting thing is the vacuum it leaves behind. Because what we might hopefully get over the next few years is going into it going, I don't know who's going to win it this year. It's up for grabs. I don't want it to become the Mbappe, the Mbappe door now. I don't want Mbappe to get it because he's the best player in the world. I think he, I think if he goes to Real Madrid, he could dominate it for the next five years because he'll score shitloads of goals in a team that will do really, really well. Um, so it, we might be moving into the Mbappe era. But does he get it this year? Um, I'd look at who wins the Champions League. I'd, I'd look at who wins the Champions League. If Bellingham wins the Champions League, it could be him. Um, if De Bruyne wins the Champions League, it could be him. Um, look, if Arsenal win the Champions League, it could be Saka. If Bayern win the Champions League, it could be Harry Kane. And don't forget the Euros as well. So, yeah, I think the Euros has a big part to say in it. I'd say the favourite is, the two favourites for me are probably Bellingham or Mbappe. Based on 
England and France in the Euros as well. But um, yeah, it could be the most exciting Ballon d'Or in years, really. I hope so. Um, what about Van Dijk? Um, I think not being in the Champions League shouldn't be a barrier, but will be. Not Haaland, he can't even make it to the Euro, says Man United, 8888. Uh, Tommy, thank you very much. Zlatan Ibrahimovic, says, Zlatan Ibrahimovic or Dimitar Berbatov? Well, it's Ibrahimovic, mate. Can we talk about how boring Pep Ball is, says Kay? Well, it's just not for me. I wouldn't say it's boring. Um, Anshul says, Mainu is the right step to build midfield like Real Madrid. Um, and uh, Pepe is talking about Yamal. And uh, have I, I haven't seen much of him, no. I'm sure I will do. I'm not in a rush. Um, show says, is is Haaland playing, Mark? Um, yes. I had to question myself here. Arsenal are coming out for the second half. I think we've got a really interesting 45 minutes as we transition from quarter of a way through these ties to half time at the end of this game. Of course, there's a second leg next week. Uh, Goldio says, I think Messi will scam another one. He shouldn't have won the last Ballon d'Or. Media bias has always been towards Messi. He has, he has two he didn't deserve, says Goldio. Well, I don't think he deserved the last one, but he won the World Cup. They can't scam him another one. Surely not. Which player has been the weakling in the first half of Real Madrid versus Man City, says Tony. Um, I think I think Man City's midfield is losing the battle, if I'm being honest at the moment. I think um, Bellingham, Valverde, Cruz and uh, Camavinga as a four are doing... Um, Kovacic, Rodri and Bernardo Silva. So I think the midfield battle is being won by Real Madrid at the moment. Um, and Man City can't get control of the game. Um, I think that's where the game's being won and lost at the moment. Uh, Arsenal, Arsenal are dominating. They've just made two silly mistakes on the break. And you know they've got to they've got to get back they've got to get back into it. Uh, Arsenal Bayern Munich has kicked off already. By the way, they're back up and running. But obviously, I'm waiting for the Bernabeu and uh, the recommencement of this game. Please do subscribe to the channel. By the way, bottom right hand corner, Rodrigo's got 64% and La Liao's got 36%. So we'll end that as well. Um. Jose, thank you very much. Welcome to Members Club. Thanks for joining and getting your badge in. Uh, Sports HQ says, Mark, sixth for United. Still, they can play for the Champions League. Thoughts? Yeah, only if Man City, only if West Ham win the Europa League and finish fifth. Which means Villa or Spurs would have to finish seventh. It's never happening, mate. It's never happening. Your order F1 races, Schumacher, Hamilton or Senna? It's a scare face. Well... Hamilton would be third, Schumacher would be second, and Senna would be first for me. I don't think that's even hard. Here they come, players, second half. What do you think of the Man City kit? It's better than their away kit, but, you know, so is a Greg's outfit. Sorry, better than their home kit. Uh, Solihull Moors are winning at the moment, mate. They're 1-0 up. 1-0 up in the 57th minute. Right, let's get going. Second half about to start. Real Madrid have looked more likely to get the next goal. If they do, it's really game on. Who's the best goalkeeper ever for you, Mark? Not United goalkeepers to show. Best goalkeeper in my life. There we go. Just waiting for the start. Um, I'm not. I'm going to answer that. Yeah. There we go. Um, I think that. Uh, I, th I, th I think. I think Schmeichel was very much of his era. He wouldn't work in the modern game, but you're asking me who's the best goalkeeper in my lifetime. It's unfair sometimes to judge. 
past goalkeepers in the modern game because things change. Like, you know, Gascoigne's probably one of the best players I've seen naturally. He wouldn't work in the modern game for numerous reasons. A lot of people are saying Buffon, but I actually think Schmeichel was amazing at, at, in the early 90s. I mean, he won the Euros with Denmark off the beach, uh, won a treble with Manchester United. He was a fantastic goalkeeper. Rin says that pie face is clear of Schmeichel. Um, Rudiger's been unbelie unbelievable, says Thiago. Cruz as well. Why has our players reached 30? We say they're finished. De Bruyne and Kane are 32. As I, know, I mentioned this this morning, Thiago, on the United stand. Mark, you missed my super chat. Also, what exactly is the Goldbridge Arms, or is it just a set? It's a pub, Jonathan. It's a pub. Um, Mark, for your ebook, will it be your voice in it, says Ricardo. Yeah, if you're ordering the book and you want to order the audio, which I'm sure will be very much a brilliant accompany accompaniment for the book, um, I am, it is my audio. Yes. Mark, um, just for fun, as the YouTube All Stars manager, what's your preferred YouTuber starting 11, says Yo? I don't know, mate, because that, that would take a lot. That's harder than do, coming up with your all time Man United 11, because I'd have to really think who's on YouTube. Right, time for a stretch. Arsenal need to get back into this. Man City need to get back into this. I tell you what, though, if the scoreline stayed the same in both these games, 2-1 to Bayern and 2-1 to Real Madrid, what a next Wednesday night we would have. Hey, hey, hey. If you could have a second chance at one event in your life, what would you choose and what would you do differently, says Daniel. I want to push them. Nah, that's a joke. Um, I would. I think I'd have probably. You know, I'm trying to think if there's anything I. There's nothing bad I've done, so I don't need to worry about that. Let's keep it football related. Um, somebody said, "What about school?" I did crap in school, but to be honest, going back and actually working hard for two years still sounds like I. I, I would. I, I wouldn't be able to, even now, I wouldn't go back to school and work hard for two years. The first week I would, and then I'd still be back playing computer games going, God, I've forgotten how good um, Desert Strike was. Um, I think I'd have turned up for my Peterborough United trials, actually. Yeah. I don't have any regrets about anything else. Everybody I've loved who died, died wasn't because of me. I can't change that. So I'm happy with the relationships I've had. So, yeah, I can't change anything like that. <clears throat> Players like Gerard get stick for winning little. Can we have a poll? Would you rather them stay or would you class them better if they left and won more, says Dean? I'm not going to poll on that, Dean. It's a rubbish poll. How do you even build a poll on that? Would you expect Gerard more if he won more? Well, you're an idiot. If you did, it doesn't matter. Dean, honestly, I don't think it makes any difference to Gerard's legacy if he wins the Premier League or not. You should be able to judge a player's quality without uh, look at Grealish again. He's such a bloody diver. Zlatan or Kane? I will do that one, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm not here for your pleasure, but... Well, I am, actually. But I'm not here just to type out polls. But I will do you that one. Zlatan or Harry Kane, go. Um, Tuchel reminds me of the villain in Death with Death Wish 3, says Kenneth. Can't say I've ever seen it. Um, 
Apologies, I meant to say, where is it? Couldn't find it on Google Maps, says Jonathan. I'm not giving you the bloody location of my, of, of my pub. You cheeky get. Good. Nice try. But you're not having it. Um, it's not open to the public. It's, it's invite only. It's like those, uh, it's like them pubs in COVID that never shut down. You know, you know, in COVID in the UK. Oh my God. It was, um, it was like living in the old, what did they call it in America? What was it called? Prohibition. There was so many pubs that were actually open in COVID and it was all word of mouth. And, and it, it was like, they, they, they didn't want, they didn't want it. They didn't want it to grow. Like they wanted it to keep it to that. And it was, a, it was a, it was a secret because obviously you get massive fines. I never frequented one, by the way. Tuco reminds me, I've done that one. Um, yeah, I've done that one as well. Thank you very much. How do you watch Man City versus Real Madrid? Says, uh, well, we can keep you up to date. It depends what country you're in. If you're in the UK, TNT Sports have the rights to Champions League football. Arsenal 10 minutes into the second half, still nil nil. Sorry, still one two there. Zlatan's beating Harry Kane. I I don't agree. I'm sorry. I think that's I think that's reputational. Everybody loves Zlatan because he's a lion. I do not think Zlatan's better than Harry Kane. I don't. I really don't. Oh, Gabrielle. Harry Kane on Gabrielle. Is a bit of an elbow there. But uh, he's up and running. Yellow card for Harry Kane. Bellingham into Rodrigo. Up against the Kanji, who's on a yellow. Wastes it. As a Villa fan, I need these pair to win, says Ryan C. Oh, yeah, for the coefficiency, yes. Oh, mistake. Rodri, Rodri, Bellingham. Still Bellingham. Oh, and he shoots wide. <sighs> On his left foot. <clears throat> Sheep says, would you rather be eaten alive by a commando dragon? Com Komodo dragon, you mean, not a commando. It's not a dragon who wears bloody, I nearly said bag, combat trousers, um, and bloody puts a Rambo thing around his head, um, or stomped, so would I rather get eaten by a Komodo dragon or stomped to death by an elephant? Um, I would, uh, I would rather not think about it, mate. Oh, how would you like to die? I'll tell you what, can I, can I choose? The less painful option out of the two. Goldbridge or Angry, angry Ginge, says Logie. Well, I love Angry Ginge, so you can make your own mind up on that. But on pure footballing ability, I think it'd be very interesting. We're, I think we're on the same team, though. I think we're, on this, we're, playing, we're playing in a charity game at the start of June. I think we're on the same team. Probably work quite well if he plays centre-back and I play holding midfielder. This, this could be, you know, sort of, I'm thinking, you know... Maldini and Kimmich or Rodri and Van Dyke, you know, something like that. Um, header over the bar from Rodri on the back post there. Mark, is there anything you like about the new Champions League for format? No. No. <laughs> uh, Umzi, I will do that poll for you next. Um, I don't like the new Champions League format. I think it's a prolonged way to get more games in and make money. I, I don't think it's exciting at all. Eight games instead of six in the pre-knockout stage. And then another knockout stage round. I, I don't I don't I don't think it's very good at all. Who scores more? Gerard on drugs or Lampard on booze? Archie, come on. Rank your five favourite clubs and five least favourite. No! 
I'm not 10 Man United. I don't, I don't, have, I don't have a top five clubs. Bloody hell. Do you? Do you all have top five clubs? Do you have five clubs that you do you, you support or or rank? I don't. I don't do that. I don't do that. Nice switch of the play. Rodrigo. He's got an overlap. Vinicius Junior. Oh, come on! You got to put one of these away, lads. You got to put one of these away. These are big chances. Yeah, watch along tomorrow's PSG Barcelona Super Suede. We have a weird perception of managers in the UK. German ones are considered charismatic, Dutch a bit comedy, Spanish passionate and fiery, says Nick P. Sheep says violation bridge. Ryan Giggs or Gareth Bale poll. Well, I will do that in a minute if someone reminds me, but we've got Zlatan versus Kane, which is cooking along very nicely at the moment. What do you do for fun, Mark? That's not none of your bloody business, actually. What if it was something illegal, like hard drugs? I don't do that. Don't do drugs, kids. Or adults. Here's Man City on the attack. Arsenal still haven't equalised. Would you rather be trapped in a mall for 24 hours with a gorilla or five snakes, says Daniel. If it's a mall, snakes, they'll never find me, Daniel. Stupid twats. I just go on the upper third level of the mall. They'll never find their way up. Fergus treble versus Pep's treble. You're having a laugh, Sahaj. Only a City fan could type something so stupid. Who's the greatest penalty taker and saver you've ever watched, says Clinton. You know what? Some of these, these questions are getting dragually, gradually worse. We're trying to watch two games at once that are very finely poised and people are coming up with random shit that takes thinking time when I'm already trying to keep an eye on a live chat and two games. And you want me to talk about the best penalty goalkeeper and the best penalty taker I've ever seen. Come on, do better. Hi, uh, Barca PSG is giving Burnley Palace vibes. Thursday football, not more interesting, says Christopher Williams. I, don't, I refuse to watch Thursday night football. Only if Man United are in it, which means next season. <laughs> What's your setup for two matches? Two TVs and Skybox, says Samuel. Um, yeah, I've got two Skyboxes. I need it. Foden straight at the keeper. Um, hi, Mark. Just tuned in. What's your opinion on both matches and what's your favourite league besides the Premier League? Love your content and the podcast. I think people are doing it on purpose now, Bart. I really do. This is what I have to put up with as well. I, I really think people are doing it on purpose. What's my favourite league apart from the Premier League? Hmm, sometimes it's the Portuguese league. And then, you know what? I fancy a bit of French. You know, and then uh, Silver straight at the keeper. Man City probably having their best period here. Why don't you use Sky Go, Mark? It's, it's too far behind. If you're watching, I guarantee if you put Sky Go on and then you compare it to your, and then you put the Arsenal game on or whatever, I guarantee it will be 45 seconds behind. So uh, all these people are saying do dodgy boxes and that, not if you're doing a watch along because you cannot do. I remember, I remember when Ben Foster did the Euros watch alongs on Sky Glass and they were about a minute behind and they were like, it's a bloody nightmare. Can't, you can't do watch-alongs and be behind everybody else. That It's horrible. Absolutely horrible. 
Um, would you sponsor my charity back boxing match, Mark? Love your content. Was on United Stand years ago after Liverpool game when Main Mourinho manager is blue. Uh, no, I can't sponsor violence. Yeah, unfortunately. See, great get out there. I don't believe in violence. Uh, Mark, what would you do if Harlan took his shirt off, licked his lip? What? Licked his lips, then sat on your lap while staring at you and slightly... Oh, what? Ali, come on. I, I, I'll just stop reading them in a minute. If United win the FA Cup, Mark, will you strip off... Yeah, OK, I'm just going to stop. Thank you. Read them for yourself now. Uh, Zlatan and Kane are 50-50. Solihull's score is still 1-0. 2-0! It's 2-0. They've won now. They're 2-0 up. Osborne, Solihull Moors legend, scored last week the winner. He scored again. It's 2-0. Valverde with probably the worst shot of his career from the edge of the box. Would you rather play Among Us or Fortnite for a million pounds? Says Carl. Fortnite. <clears throat> Nelly, not reading it. Dan says, what about Everton's two-point deduction? I'm not even aware of this. Is this a new one? I don't know what that's all about. Uh, Yaza, no, haven't watched it. Hi, Mark. Ronaldo's red card yesterday. Thoughts is Sergio. Not seen it. Sally says they've had a points deduction today. <coughs> Cayman's coming on for Bayern. How's that gone? They've had another two-point deduction. So they've had six altogether. They'll still stay up. They'll still stay up. Here's Grealish. Tackled. Foden loses the ball got the ball Vinicius Jr. on the break Haaland there you go Erling Haaland tracking back for the first time in his life well done no I'm sure he's done it before uh, Ferdinand Vidic or Ramos Pepe says DJ you should have said Ramos Varane you've given me a get out there because it's Ferdinand Vidic over Ramos Pepe DJ if you'd said Ramos Varane we might have had a conversation uh, anyway, as a Liverpool fan who only goes away games due to overpricing of home games, uh, do you also think Salah fasting affected his games, says Dean? Well, I think it has to impact them, doesn't it? I mean, you know, it has to. I mean, I, I've never done it, so I, I'd bow down to superior knowledge, but surely... Um, surely it has an impact on any player that's fasting. Are you going to do a That's Football show in Ireland soon, says Paul. Hopefully, hopefully. Can Arsenal get back into this? Bellingham. Keeper's going to get that. Um, can you explain the coefficient rules? If Arsenal and City both go out this round, are we down to four teams, says Sia. Uh, I don't even know if that would be the case, mate, because... Um, Italy and England currently have the top two positions in the coefficient on performance this year um, and there is no 
Italian team left in the Champions League, I don't think. So, even if Man City and Arsenal go out, there's no Italian team left in that. So, you, you're looking at Germany and Spain being a threat, I suppose. Um, there will be one Italian team. What a goal. What a goal by Phil Foden. What a goal by Phil Foden. Bloody hell. Well, Real Madrid deserved this, really, because that is a worldie in the quarterfinal in the Bernabeu. That is an absolute banger. Edge of the box. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. It's so good. It's right in the top corner from the edge of the box. It's unfucking. It's unstoppable. Wow. Wow. But Real Madrid have only got themselves to blame. They've looked like being. They've looked like they were going to be the score. The team that would score. And Man City haven't played that well, and yet here they are two two. Because it only takes a moment of magic. He'll be buzzing his tits off about that inside, you know. You'd be almost trying not to celebrate too much. In the burnabout, to score a goal like that. Oh, unreal goal, says Lee. I, mean, I don't like Man City, of course, but what a goal. What a goal. But Real Madrid will be kicking themselves. They've had better chances across the game. Mark, why do you think we get so easily hit on the break and what cutbacks? Surely the coaching staff has noticed it happened so many times. Sahaj, I hope you're not talking about Manchester United on a Champions League double quarterfinal watch along that Man United aren't even in. Lovely tackle by, by Valverde to keep this in. Cruz tries a shot. <laughs> Silly. Yeah, as I said, Ahmad was fasting when he scored the winner against Liverpool. Uh, Goldio said, I met Carragher outside Euston Station. He said he wants you on the overlap, but Gary is blo blocking it. I think he likes you getting on Gary Neville's nerves, says Goldio. You, you, you completely made that up. It'd be funny if it was true. You, you're half right on something, but I don't think you met Carragher anyway. On a positive note, you're the best football YouTuber around. Thanks for all the content, bro, says Loggy. Can you wish Saga good luck on her exams, says Jacob. Good luck, Saga. Wednesday night, Fenerton versus Honiton under 13s. Come on, Honiton, says Jürgen. Has Bellingham been poor tonight, says Oliver? No, I don't think so. I think it, I think it's hard to stand out in games like this for anybody. I mean, has Rodri stood out? No. You end up a lot in games like this. A lot of people will cancel each other out, and it's about those Foden moments or or something like that. That's what the difference is. I'm worried about Arsenal. You know, they've only got 20 minutes left, and they're still losing 2-1. Will, did, Will said in the podcast, you know, maybe um, maybe they could uh, maybe Arsenal do have a bit of a block in the Champions League. I don't know how that works, by the way. I don't know how a certain tournament can make you play differently, but Arsenal are only making things harder for themselves. You know, they've probably got to win every Premier League game and now they're going to have to go to Munich and win if they don't get an equaliser. here. Wonder, wonder goal. Uh, City is just too good. Need to admit. Lil, you need to start watching football. City are not too good at all. City have not dominated Real Madrid. I think Real Madrid have been the better side, but City have scored an absolute wonder goal and an opportunist goal. Give them credit. They're both legit. But um, I think Real Madrid have 
Oh my god, another one. I can't speak. Vardiel. Man City are pulling worldies out here from out every goal from outside the box. I feel I feel I mean look, I feel bad for Real Madrid anyway because I want them to win, but I feel bad for them that, you know, Man City are pulling out these sort of goals in, in a game like this. Um Foden cares about his side of Manchester, says uh Lee. Well Vardiel just smacks it. It's unstoppable again. Just unbelievable. Unbelie that's, that's, that's probably the better. I think this is probably better. It's got more curl on it. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. They won't you won't you wouldn't believe that. You wouldn't believe it. Arsenal must still have the buying curse, says Lou mate. Rodri never stands out, always plays a good game, says Ryan. I can't I can't believe Man City have turned this around with three goals from outside the box. I mean as somebody in the as somebody in the chat said, they just never go away. Even when they're not playing that well, they'll just pull out goals like that. I mean, you'd be happy with one of those. You'd be happy with one of those goals, one a month. They pulled out three, you know, two in ten minutes. Corner. Can we have a poll on whose goals better? Well, Kane's beaten Zlatan by fifty-two percent. By the way, um, start a poll. Whose goal was better? Vardial. Vardial or Forden. Get in. Sympathy is not applicable to Real Madrid, says Kenneth. Oh, all City so good that they could be five goals down and still find a way, says Sheep. Arsenal have scored. But Trozard, I don't know what I'm looking at. It's um, Jesus into 2-2. Uh, 2-2 two, two. Two, two Arsenal. Or 2-2 two, two Bayern as well, really, because it's a draw. But it's Trozard with the goal. What a signing he's been for Arsenal, by the way. Both subs have made an impact here. Jesus slips it into Trozard. And he finds the bottom corner. And they've got 15 minutes to try and win it now. What was people saying at half-time? Premier League spell off. 3-2 Man City and Arsenal have just equalised. The tide has turned again. Will it, will it, will it turn again? Man City are on the attack again. No, he has washed. I don't think he can get it. I don't, he certainly couldn't get near the Saka one. I don't think he could get near the Trozard one either. What goal do you think was better? I think Vardiel's was better. I think Foden's was technically cleaner. But I thought the curl was better. Angel says, eating my own words here. What's your opinion on Trozard this season, says uh, Guy. I think he's been a very good signing again. 3-0 to Solihull Moors in the 87th minute. They're 3-0 up, so they're going to win here. Uh, Shade with another goal. And uh, Real Madrid on the attack here. Let's just see what happens. 
No, they're not. Please do subscribe, by the way, bottom right-hand corner. A cracking double watch along tonight. And, uh, wow, got a lot of people watching because we're only 70 subscribers away from 131,000. So please do subscribe, get involved, bottom right-hand corner with That's Football. We're back again tomorrow for another Champions League watch along and, of course, uh, daily content on here as well. Appreciate all your support. Lots of 115s in the chat at the moment. Of course, one of the interesting things about the 115, if I'm being fair to Man City, is it doesn't impact the Champions League. If they get found guilty, it will not. UEFA will not ban them from Champions League football, I suppose. I don't know how that would work. It's all to do with the Premier League. Well, Real Madrid are, will quite rightly be a bit shell shocked here. You would, you just about deal with one worldie from the edge of the box, but two, you'll be thinking, what are we supposed to do here? Well, they've got fifteen minutes to figure it out. I will do anything for love, but I won't do that. Bellingham goes down in the box. Didn't look like anything to me. I just realised Liverpool have got Atalanta. Should that not be a foul there by Kanji on Bellingham? Probably was a bit soft, to be fair. Well, Arsenal not taking the ideal result to Munich, but it's certainly better than, lo being, uh, than losing. Here's Modric. He's come on. Good run. Into Vinny. Puts a weird cross in. Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Valverde... Well, maybe that's the best goal of the night. That's an absolute banger. I said it was a weird cross by Vinicius Jr. Valverde wasn't on picture. He appears on the far side and smashes the shit out of it. That's an absolute banger we've been treated tonight. In the Champions League, the premier club domestic competition in the world. And we've seen that's the best goal of the night. That's the best goal of the night. Because it's on the volley. Oh, that's the best goal of the night. Didn't think Foden's could be topped. But that has topped it. A bat what a goal. What a goal. Valverde, take a bow. What a game. Six goal thriller. 3-3. Three, three. Valverde, exactly. It's a Valverde from Valverde. What a goal. Well, Foden, Foden was probably going like this as well. Magnificent. What a game. 3-3. Three, three. These are the sort of games that actually would do Man City's reputation good. You know, big tie. But fans love games with good goals. And what what you know what's been surprising about Man City in this game? Oh, Bellingham nearly getting in. You know what's been described. You know what's been surprising about Man City, but in this game is that they don't normally score them them sort of goals that often, do they? Shots from outside the box. This should have been the final. This is happy. I think it. I, I've said this before. I think it is the final. 
I think the winner of this tie wins it, to be honest. They'll certainly be the favourites. Corner comes in from Madrid. It's going to come back in the box. And now Real Madrid, now, Ars, uh, now Man City can break with Foden. Grealish takes a tumble. Oh, no. Play on, ref. Look at them round the referee. Real in the Champions League are juggernauts. You have to completely kill the game, otherwise they'll find a way. What a goal by Valverde, though. Oh, technique. Real, brilliant, brilliant comment there by Nigel, by the way. You're absolutely correct. Real Madrid in the Champions League. They go together like Ant and Deck. Where's Haaland, says Drebin? Well, it's going to be another game where Erling Haaland gets questioned, actually, but... The service hasn't been there. I'll always sympathise with that because we've got a striker at Man United and people say, where's Hoyland? But he doesn't get any service. So, look, Man City have scored three goals, but they've all come from outside the box. That's quite telling. They're not really providing the service, are they? OK, v Foden's goal has beaten Vardy Alves. You know what I'm going to do next. Don't normally get to do this on a watch along, but we will keep going with the goal poll. Whose goal was better, Foden or Valverde? You knew it. You knew it. That might be the Puskas one there, says Josh Holy. Uh, Kieran says, are you worried about City potentially overtaking us with another Champions League wins? I certainly am, says Kieran. Um, well, they will overtake us, won't they? They're, they're dominating the world of football. They could win the next five. Like, this is what's been created by Man City. People allowed it. Deal with it. Philip Sutton says, 3-0 Solihull Moors. Havertz is coming off for part eight. Akanji's on a yellow card, mate. Bellingham can't believe it. He can't believe it. This referee is just letting load. I mean, that's the second yellow card for a Kanji, and he's just let it go. Bellingham can't believe it. Carvajal and uh, Grealish have got history, by the way. I remember them, was it last year or the year before? How's he not given a goal? How's he not given a corner there? I thought Vardy I'll touch this. Oh no, maybe he didn't. Maybe he didn't. Uh, they're showing it again. Oh, the technique by Vardy Al. It's right on his that outside part of his boot as well. Oh, I tell you what, you'd love to score a goal like that, wouldn't you? The feeling watching that go in. Oh. I'd score that goal for bloody Solly or Moores and go mad. Doing it in the Bernabeu for Real Madrid. Imagine the feeling. These are moments most of us will never have. Still five minutes to go. I think Bayern and Arsenal are ahead of us, aren't they? I tell you what, 3-3 would be nice to take it to the Etihad though, wouldn't it? Real Madrid would have to try and win. I'd be worried about Real Madrid. I actually think a draw might be better for Real Madrid. They won't agree with me, but I think a draw might be better for Real Madrid for the simple reason, if they take a victory there, then mentally they're going to be thinking about um, holding on to something. Whereas I think they'll be better if they know they've got to get something. I really hope Madrid knocks City out and happy Eid to everybody tomorrow, says Mohammed. Plus, Birmingham City are playing tomorrow night on Eid night, so just plan ahead. 
There we go. Why are they showing this little knock on Foden and why do they keep showing that? Said it three times. Uh, Vinicius Junior comes off. Shuan, thank you very much. Josalu, he's about he's he's a lot older than I thought he was. That Josalu, he played um, did play for Newcastle, played for a lot of clubs. Definitely played in the Prem. Well, both games end in a draw. Sets it up lovely for next Wednesday night. Shuan, welcome to the Members Club. I think I said it already, but thanks very much for joining. Get your badge in. Opinions on Jack Butland, says Cole. Um, don't really have any. He's a decent goalkeeper, but um, I don't think he'll get taken to the Euros. Foden's coming off. And Alvarez comes on. <clears throat> Buy and hit the post, says James. I don't know what's going on with Arsenal. I think they've made hard work of a Bayern Munich team that I really think and thought they would uh, not demolish but i thought they'd take it i thought they'd put them aside at the at the emirates i really did be a tough game in, uh, in munich now for them i don't know where that's going to go mark if in a zombie apocalypse what two weapons would you have i'd have a crossbow and a set of katanas <coughs> why would you have a crossbow over a gun you run out of arrows i suppose you can get them back can't you Zombie apocalypse, if you give me a samurai sword, they're screwed, basically. I've told you, polar bear, tiger, normal bear, koala bear, they're all screwed if I've got a samurai sword. Which is a katana, isn't it, actually? I just remembered. Danny Ford, I agree with you, Damien. I'd, have, I'd do the same. Uh, Danny Ford, thanks for your super chat. Uh, Lil says, if Everton only had two FFP charges and deducted six points, then Man City are going to be playing in the National League next season. Says they'll, well, they won't be playing in the National League next season because they're not even going to be in court until next season at the earliest. Five minutes added on at the Emirates, by the way. I like this man. I'll tell you what I do like about Real Madrid, though, and it will travel well. I like their midfield. I do like their midfield. Valverde, Camavinga, Bellingham. I like the balance of their team. Millwall beat Leicester. Big result for Ipswich. Missed those legendary Champions League bouts with Man United and it's just cheery. Trust me, you wouldn't miss Man United in the Champions League at the moment. Fucking hell. I'd rather not be in the Champions League at the moment. It would be bloody embarrassing. Well, we were in it, weren't we? Modric, edge of the box. It's worth a shot. Blocked. It's worth another shot. Ooh, just wide from Carvajal. Looked, looked just wide, I think it was. Uh... Dean Rav, welcome to the Members Club. Thank you. Yeah, you'd fancy Man City at the Etihad, of course you would, but um, you never know. Becky says, Solly Moors are now fourth in the table. Been lots of great games tonight. It's been a great night of football, actually. It has, you're right. Modric is still crazy good, says Josh. Uh, 
Haaland is still on the pitch. Four minutes added on here. Arsenal 2-2. They're just about done there. Only a minute left. <laughs> Will, I can't read that out. What What's happened to Deli Ali? Somebody just mentioned the name. Is he... Still at Everton. I know he had that interview with Gary Neville. I did hope that was going to be a bit of a kickstart, but um, I don't think he plays much, does he? Not sure if you like Bob Mortimer, Mark, but his podcast, Atletico Mints, is well worth a listen. I know you mentioned you listened to podcasts before bed. I'll put it on my list, Lee. Oh, he's played for Besiktas now. All right. Oh, huge moment in the Arsenal game, VAR. Oh, I don't know. I think Saka kicks out looking for that. I, I've just seen it. I don't think it is a pen. I'm just looking at it again. Saka's in. But I think he kicks his leg out. I thought he kicked his leg out. On to Neuer. I think he simulated the contact. It's not been given anyway. I'd like to see another angle. I mean, Saka's hurt himself. Here we go. This is the one. No, I think he, I think he kicks out. I, I don't, I don't think that's a penalty. I think he simulates the kick. Neuer stands still and he sort of moves his leg into him. I've seen him given. I've seen him given, and I don't blame Saka for doing it, but I don't think it's a penalty for me. If that was against me and that got given, I'd be bloody fuming. If it, if if it's for me and it gets given, I'm loving it, but I, I don't think it's a penalty. Would you support, support Southgate if he wins for United, says Harry Maguire? Well, I want Man United to win, but I don't want Southgate, no. Uh, still got 30 seconds to go here. Arsenal are going to have it all to do in Munich. That's going to be a cracker next week. I mean, that's off. Why are they on the same night? Why are they on the same night? It's like getting married on the day of the Manchester derby. Why are they on the same day? It's, uh, yeah, uh, they're going to be hard. It's going to be hard to do a double watch along again, but we're going to have to, and it's going to be, and it is 3-3, three, 2-2. Three, two, two. That's the way it's ended up. There's a lot of booing going on at the uh, Etihad. For me, don't think it was a penalty. Not enough for me. Not enough for me. Let's just do a quick poll on it. Valver Valverde's goal was better than Foden's, by the way. Let's just do a quick poll. Was it a penalty on Saka? Yes or no? That's all we have to do. Yes or no? Was it a penalty on Saka? <clears throat> Get in the chat.
Um, 68% of you are saying no penalty and 33% of you are saying yes. And I would imagine most of those are Arsenal fans saying yes. Luke says, thanks for all you do, Mark. You've made me 10 times more interested in football. Who do you want to win the Champions League out of the contenders that have got, Luke? Um, anybody but City, really. It's If that's not a penalty, then neither was wan Bissaka, says Thomas. We, um, well, fair point. Fair point, well made. Not going to lie about that. Um, just a big shout out for the book that is, that is out for pre-order now. If you would like to order it and support it, that would be great. Um, you can scan the QR code. And, um, yep, we are trying to get in the top 100 before the book's even out. So if you could support it and order it, that would be fantastic. Scan the QR code with your camera phone and order away. You can get a signed one, although there's a limited number of those. You can get the audio, audio book audio as well. Or if you want to get it worldwide, you just need to use the Amazon link at the top when you scan the QR code. Um, we're back tomorrow night with PSG against Barcelona. You've been fantastic company tonight, but so is the football, to be fair. It's not always we get good football, but the football has been bloody fantastic tonight. Three worldies in one game. I can't I can't criticise the football tonight. I think it's been absolutely fantastic. And uh, obviously the community always is. Loads of great either-ors, loads of um, great uh, comments as ever. You lot take care. I will see you tomorrow. Stay safe. And um, yeah, these two ties are going to be even better next week. Um, neither of them are dead. Both of them are alive. And uh, Arsenal with a bit of a mountain to climb in Munich. Man City would be favourites at the Etihad, but I wouldn't count Madrid out yet. Speak to you in a bit. Take care. Thanks for watching.